Hi guys, if you've not already met me, let me just quickly say my name is Katrina and I work at Maine Coon Central. Now, if you want to know anything about Maine Coon cat breed, I'm the person to ask. And if you want to just read up more about this fabulous breed, check out MainCoonCentral.com. I literally have everything you'll ever need to know about the Maine Coon cat breed. Now, today I'm going to do something a little bit different and I'm going to look at a particular cat product. So as you can see, Pippin needed a scratching post. In fact, he's needed one for a couple of weeks, but we simply haven't had the time to get round to researching. So the other day I found Pippin and he had pulled over the scratching post and the scratching post simply looked destroyed. So I decided it was time to research the market, find the best cat scratching post, make a decision and ultimately buy a scratching post for him. So I have just bought him now the ultimate cat scratching post and I want to see what he thinks of it. My initial thoughts on this scratching post is it looks pretty big, sturdy and ideal, but that doesn't mean that Pippin will like the scratching post. So let me know in the comments below if you reckon he will love or hate it. Right, before we jump into reviewing this cat scratching post, I want to cover off more about why do cats actually even scratch things? Why do they need a scratching post? So the main reason you're going to want a cat scratching post in your house and a sturdy one of that if you've got a main coon is because it will help prevent your cat scratching your furniture. So if you prize your beautiful leather sofas or your lovely wooden tables, then make sure you get a post because they it will help the cat choose the post over your furniture. Right, so another reason cats need a scratching post is because it actually helps relieve stress, frustration and boredom. They love nothing more than a good old stretch. So they basically stretch their entire body out and scratch their claws against the size or material that is wrapped around most cat scratching posts. Now, one of the key reasons a cat will use a cat scratching post is because it helps keep their cat claws in great condition. And as they scratch, the old nail actually just comes off during the process. Another great thing about the cat scratching post is it actually provides exercise for your cat. So they're able to stretch out onto it. They are really able to pull and yank on the scratching posts, and it kind of helps to tone their muscles as they do this. Finally, another reason cats love to have a scratching post is it's kind of a way of them marking their territory. So, you know, cats like to rub up against things um, and use their scent glands, which are just on the side of their face and the neck. They love to rub up and butt up against you because they're trying to mark their territory. The same is true of a cat scratching post. They want other cats to know that this post is theirs. Now, even from the actual title, the word, using the word ultimate suggests this is gonna be a serious cat scratching post. I found it on Amazon. I have got a few friends have got it and they say it's good. All the reviews on it are fabulous, so let's find out if it is. Right, so obviously I'm sat down, but you can see already this is a really tall scratching post, which meets one of the key things for a Maine Coon cat, considering they are so physically long, is that they can really stretch out and, and pull their claws and scratch them right against the size of material that you see here. If we're going to get technical, this is a 32 inch scratching post in height. So as you all 
maybe, maybe not, no, Maine Coon cats, both male and female, can reach up to 40 inches in length. So no, it's not maybe long enough for them to completely fully stretch out, but it is significantly taller than uh, many scratching posts available on the market. And it definitely is a good option for your Maine Coon. Right now, what you can't see, Pippin is sat literally a couple of foot just, just in front of me. He wants to know what I'm up to. He knows he uh, needs and deserves a new cat scratching post. I think he wants to see what's going on. So he's keeping his eye on me. I'm not sure if I can show you in the camera. There he is. Can you say hello, Pips? Right, before I actually put it together, I've just seen a really useful tip on the instructions. Just up here. I thought it was worth sharing before I just peel this off the board. So basically it's saying, if you obviously haven't had a cat scratch in place before, or you're trying to encourage your cat to actually want to use the scratching post rather than delightfully scratching all over your leather sofas, then put catnip into the actual sizal. This is actually a really good idea because obviously many cats, mine included, like catnip, though he is a little bit posh about which catnip he likes. He doesn't like all of the ones we've tried, so it's always a bit of potluck with our cat. But many cats aren't like that. So if you put a bit of catnip into the size or for the cat scratching post, you're bound to get your cat's interest. Okay, one of my pet hates with products that come with big sticky labels is that they just don't peel off nice and easily. Now this doesn't impact the cat scratching post in any way. It's just my personal feelings about stickers, which get stuck to the wood, as you're probably used to finding. It's really annoying. Why don't people just make a sticker that you can peel off in one or two goes? What can we say about the ultimate cat scratching post? Obviously Pippin hasn't had a go yet, but here is a quick summary of what you can expect. Number one. Height. As I've already mentioned, it's 32 inches high. Pretty high. Maine Coons can get up to 40 inches in length, but it still should be enough for a big Maine Coon to be able to stretch fully out, tone and exercise their muscles as they scratch against the size or material that is on this. If we look at the base, it's 16 by 16 inches wide. Now that's great because basically as the cat pushes and pulls against the scratching post, the actual post stays stable. It's quite an expensive cat post. To be fair, it's the most expensive one that we've bought ever. Um, obviously, just not including things like cat towers. Um, this cat scratching post for the UK market on Amazon comes in at £34.99 plus a whopping £7.74 in delivery. So it is a serious investment and I really hope our cat likes it. Now for the US audience. We can see that this cat scratching post comes in beige for $59.20. If you are after the grey version, it will cost you $60.20. So, not the cheapest on the market, but you can feel the quality, so I do think you're actually getting your money's worth. It does seem to be the most serious cat scratching post that we have bought ever. So, all cat scratching posts have it because cats love to scratch on the size of material. Many of them actually like are wrapped around size of rope, wrapped around the cat scratching post. And I guess this is why they don't last as long. We've had many and ultimately the rope 
detaches and you either have to fix it yourself by reattaching what's come loose or putting new rope on it or you could actually change it this time and try something like we are where the material is well kind of looks like woven in so it looks like it should be far more sturdy in the sense when the cat's scratching it you're not going to get all these loose reels of uh, sizal rope coming off so let's see see what actually happens and hopefully it's going to prove worth it Created really really well for, for ease of assembly I am a great example to do for this because I'm so bad at doing flat pack however I've managed it even if I did accidentally attach well screw one of the panels in back to front all fixed now if I can do it so can you so yep full marks for ease of assembly Space. So it's pretty high and it doesn't seem to take up too much space. Bar the base of the machine, so I'd rate that pretty highly. I reckon this can fit into most corners of people's houses, whatever size really. You only need 16 by 16 inches. Most of the actual product is obviously about the height of it. Now colour. I opted for beige. You can get grey, but obviously that's all personal preference. Right, now we've had a quick look at this cat scratching post. Should we see it actually in action? I'm going to call over Pippin and see what he thinks of this particular extra posh scratching post. Hey Pips, what do you think of your cat scratching post, eh? Are you going to come and take a look? Hey, I know you're looking sleepy, but we all know you love a good scratching post. Right, if you've met Pippin before, you know he can be a little bit stubborn sometimes. He doesn't always want to perform for the camera. He seems camera shy. So I am using the big stuff, Dreamies. He is addicted to them. Let's put some of the cat scratching posts, see how it goes. So to try and encourage him to go to the scratching posts, I've put four Dreamies there. He is absolutely obsessed with Dreamies and hopefully, ah, there we go. He's taken a little sniff. He wants to know what it is. You can smell it. Like other cats, amazing ability. Oh, that's brilliant then. Did you just see that? He's rubbing his face, his like cheeks against the scratching post, trying to say, ha, huh, this isn't scented. This is now mine. Will he use it? No, in my luck, no, not until the camera's off. As you can see, I'm having to go quite far back on the film because the scratching post is so tall. Ah, oh, he's done it. He realizes. Perfect timing. Well done, Pips. Right, so we've taken a really quick look at this ultimate cat scratching post and it seems to be working so far. Pippin very quickly understood that it was actually for him, for him to do his actual claws against. So this is brilliant. As I said, the material looks extra super good quality because rather than just being a size of rope going around, it's actually woven into the actual scratching post. So Hopefully, fingers crossed, it should actually last longer. Now for the price, I really hope it does. 
I will keep you in the loop exactly what happens. Now, before you go, I would like you to check out Maine Coon Central. So that's maincooncentral.com. The website is packed full of Maine Coon cat breed information. You will not find a better website about the Maine Coon cat breed. So go check it out. Don't forget to click subscribe and hit that ring a bell just so that you don't miss out on any of our videos moving forward.